Hey folks, Daily Lions blog for the 21st of November 2019. Uh, two things to talk about today. Number one, uh, Mike Babcock uh, just lost his job with the Maple Leafs, was fired from uh, being head coach of the Maple Leafs a couple of hours ago. As you watch this, obviously it'll be old news, but I just wanted to say that um, he and I have become friends and we've never spoken about hockey. His coaching of the Leafs and before that the Detroit Red Wings when I first met him, we've never talked about a single thing in hockey. I met him when he reached out to me uh, and you know, answering the phone, looking down and seeing Mike Babcock. I remember I was at my desk, this is in the days of OTR. I looked down and thought Mike Babcock and I picked up the phone and went, hey Mike Babcock, why are you calling me? And he goes, oh Michael, this is Mike Babcock. And I said, yeah, I, I know, I actually just called you Mike Babcock. He said, I want to help. He had pointed out that he had seen a show that we did during the summer as it played as a rerun on Bell Let's Talk Day. And he said, you know, it's really important to me to use my profile to make a difference in mental illness. And here we are probably six years later, and he has made a difference. He is one of the leading voices in saying, you know, there is a difference between being mentally ill and mentally weak. The two have nothing to do with each other. You can be mentally ill and mentally strong at the same time. That's a hugely important lesson. So I just want to say thanks to him. Uh, uh, hopefully we'll be friends forever and hopefully uh, I'll be able to call on him. Uh, every time I've asked him to do something for Sick Not Weak uh, or Bell, Let's Talk Day, he has done it. And the other thing is, I heard, and you, you may be wondering why I'm swallowing like I am, it's because of the mundo. It's got, a, I guess there's a little salt in it, and it makes you salivate a whole lot, or maybe I'm just salivating you because... Call it, you call it... Oh, juice. mundo. Oh, okay. Um, the Jew cookie. And he, here's, here's my real point for today. And that is, I spoke to someone uh, earlier today. Actually, it was yesterday. And they said that, I said, how are you doing? And they said, uh, well, actually, I said, how is your daughter doing? Because I met this person in the context that their daughter was struggling. And he said, my daughter is doing really, really well. And one of the things that has allowed her to do well is that she has been reaching out to others who are struggling. She has been using her illness to help others. And I thought to myself, self works for me. Maybe there's something here that we should be talking about. I have a friend who was desperately depressed and medication didn't help him, therapy didn't help him. One of the things he did was he started volunteering on a daily basis at a soup kitchen. It's like he got out of his own head. And I'm not saying that we all have the ability to do that, but for him, it got his thinking away from his problems and his struggle and the pain that he was feeling. And it made a substantial difference for him. I'm not sure that you can, you can cure or you can entirely come back from depression or anxiety if you help others. But I am telling you that there is a huge amount of power in devoting yourself, not to yourself, but to others. It makes a difference. It's like you escape from this vicious cycle of your thoughts. And when you think about others, God, this, this Jew cookie is haunting me now and it's making me salivate. Make it stop, Case. Sorry. You make them too good. So uh, that's the lesson for today is j just think about this, that if you've struggled with a mental health challenge, you have something inside you which can change somebody else's life. And in the process, it's not all about what you're doing for them. It's what you do for yourself. It's like you help somebody else. You're not intending to do it, but you end up helping yourself. It's like reciprocated without them doing anything for you. All they have to do is accept the benefit of your knowledge. SickNotWeek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. As I said, today would be the exciting conclusion of what happened with the Jew cookie. And the answer is, I'm done. You know why? We don't need one more fat Jew.